I'm going to briefly explain what ion propulsion is, talk about NASA's record-breaking X3 ion thruster, and talk about how soon we might see ion propulsion on manned spacecraft. Ion propulsion sounds like something from Star Trek, right? Ion propulsion will allow spacecraft to travel farther, faster, and cheaper than any other propulsion technology currently available. Ion thrusters have fuel efficiencies over 90% compared to chemical rockets which has fuel efficiencies up to 35%. Ion propulsion isn't science fiction, it's a proven technology that exists today. So will we see ion thrusters on manned spacecraft in the near future? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I cover topics such as space exploration, robotics, and all things future. So if you're interested in knowing how cool life will be like in the future, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. So earlier this month, NASA announced the test results of their X3 ion thruster which broke ion propulsion records for maximum power output, thrust, and operating current. But before we talk further about the X3, let's briefly go over what ion propulsion is. Ion propulsion technology goes back a long time. Matter of fact, the first working ion thruster was built by Harold R. Kaufman in 1959 at NASA's Glenn Research Center in Ohio. The common propellant for ion propulsion is the gas xenon because it's easily ionized. Ionized means that an atom or molecule acquires a negative or positive charge by gaining or losing electrons to form ions. So the ion thruster shoots electrons into the xenon gas creating ions. These positively charged ions are then accelerated through grids with thousands of precisely aligned holes at speeds up to 90,000 miles per hour. The exiting ions is called an ion beam and produces thrust which pushes the spacecraft towards the opposite direction. It's important to know that thrust generated from the ion thrusters is very minimal. The X3 ion thruster tested at record breaking thrust of 5.4 newtons. So 5.4 newtons is 1.1 pounds which is a little less than the weight of a basketball. This makes ion thrusters an impossible type of propulsion to launch spacecraft into space. Compared to the X3 ion thruster with 5.4 newtons of thrust, Blue Origin's BE-4 engine currently in development will have 2.4 million newtons or 550,000 force of thrust. Not only is the thrust weak for ion propulsion, it accelerates very slowly. The ion thruster of the Dawn spacecraft for instance, at full throttle, would take 4 days to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. But in the zero gravity frictionless environment of space, the ion thruster can reach much faster speeds than chemical propulsion systems. Spacecraft powered by ion thrusters can reach speeds over 200 miles per hour. In comparison, the old space shuttle could reach speeds around 18,000 miles per hour. Lastly, as I said earlier, ion thrusters are much more fuel efficient compared to chemical propulsion at 90% compared to 35%. That's why I'm very excited with the progress of NASA's X3 thruster. The X3 thruster was designed by researchers at the University of Michigan in cooperation with NASA and the Air Force, and they've been working on it since 2009. The X3 will use a power system currently being developed by Aerojet Rocketdyne. Once this is up and running, further tests will take place at the same facility in the first half of 2018 with the team aiming to run the thrusters for 100 hours. If these tests continue to go well, we could see iron propulsion on spacecraft to Mars. Here's a quote from lead engineer Alec Gallimar. Mars missions are just on the horizon and we already know that hull thrusters work well in space. They can be optimized either for carrying equipment with minimal energy and propellant over the course of a year or so or for speed, carrying the crew to Mars much more quickly. So it would be awesome to see ion propulsion used on Mars missions, but I want to hear from you. Do you think ion propulsion will be the best system to use to travel to Mars, or do you think it accelerates too slow to be worth the trouble? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and this is the end of our journey.